Oh, still here for Daddy's birthday? All right, let's do one more pick. The Colorado State Rams are giving a field goal to the Nevada Wolfpack in the Arizona Bowl, although it should just be called the Mountain West Bowl. These guys are two Mountain West teams. All right, look, the uh, Colorado State Golden Rams come into this game where they uh, have won their last four. That took them from 3-5 and five in oblivion to 7-5 and five and a bowl bid, which I think is a testament to their first-year head coach, Mike Bobo, and how much these kids love playing for him, and why wouldn't they? The guy has been great for them, as evidenced by sophomore quarterback uh, Nick Stevens, whose 2,369 passing yards set a sophomore school record, not to mention he leads the Mountain West Conference with 21 TDs, with over a third of them going to this kid, uh, senior wide receiver Richard Higgins, who is amazing. That kid had 66 catches, 933 yards, and 8 TDs, which were over a third of the throws Stevens made into the end zone. And get this, 115 yards is all he needs to set the school's all-time receiving record for yards. So I think he's going to really be up for this game. Not that all of Colorado won't be. Now, on the other side of the ball, you have a Nevada Wolfpack squad who is 6-6 six and six and comes limping into this game, given they lost their last two to tough teams, Utah State and Arizona State, excuse me, and San Diego State, which we know are very good. And I can get past that. But this is what I cannot get past and just makes me a little bit concerned. It's not the games they lost to the Aggies and uh, the Aztecs. I like saying Aggies and Aztecs. That's alliteration if you, you know, are into literary stuff. It's who they lost to Hawaii. And that is their offensive coordinator, Nick Rolovich. Now look, don't get me wrong. He's being replaced by a guy named Jim Hoffer who has some experience. He coached at Cornell and Buffalo. But when you change offensive coordinators, I think that really affects the rhythm of your offense more than anything. Suddenly you're getting plays, which although they may work, you're not used to being called into your earpiece. And that does not benefit an already suspect Nevada Wolfpack offense. Now, don't get me wrong. The Wolfpack is another one of those teams that runs the wishbone and runs the uh, the pistol attack. But here's the thing. Unlike schools we seem to have done really well with it, Navy, right, who I believe won Monday. I'm just guessing this is uh, before the game. And Air Force, these are teams that run it really well, but I'm not impressed with Nevada, with what Nevada has done with it. They rack up a little over 200 yards a game, but it doesn't translate into points. This is a team that is only putting up 26 points per game, and I don't think that's going to be enough to hang with a Rams team that is averaging over 30 points a game and has a pretty staunch defense. So here's my thing. You can bet Nevada in this game but if you do you only have yourself to blame i'm telling you right now because the nevada offense and the rushing attack sends a poignant message and that is this people and i hope you're listening gun lobbyists pistols are only as dangerous as the people that use them and you get what you deserve by just assuming a black guy is going to hurt you when he uses one (laughs) that's one to grow on people in the meantime take colorado state and lay those points